everyone. So today I wanted to talk about my, um, I picked three pairs and they're going to be my favorite shoes for the fall time. And I wanted to do this because I get a lot of questions like to show my favorite clothing items and such. And um, I thought this would be an easy way to start off. So I'm going to do my three favorite shoes for fall. Um, and everything is very different. They're all um, very different shoes. Uh, they range in prices differently. So I definitely think you can get inspired by these. Um, and maybe find ones that fit your budget more or um, fit your taste more or whatever that happens to be. Um, and then real quickly about my hair. I know that my roots are really, really bad right now. Uh, normally when my hair, I don't know why, but I my hair in the middle a little bit. It doesn't really work because my bangs. So like it looks like I basically still have bangs. But I was kind of trying to like somehow part my hair in the middle um, because I was kind of just sick of doing... I don't know. I was kind of sick of my bangs, and I thought, like, something different. Okay. But, um, I just kind of wanted to try something different with my hair. And, uh, this side works nicely with the bangs. This side, like, curls in, so it doesn't really work, so, um... Yeah, but no need to comment on my roots. I know they're really bad right now, but uh, I mean, I kind of try to go as long as I can without um, dyeing my hair just because I don't like the damage as much. And I know you guys are going to say just quit dyeing your hair, but um, I don't know. But yeah, I'm just going to put my hair back like that so it doesn't bother anyone. Um, and just don't look at my roots. I know they're really bad. I'm probably going to go get my hair done tomorrow uh, because I kind of want to start parting my hair down the middle. And if I do that, I really need to like keep up with getting my hair highlighted and stuff uh, because the roots are a lot more obvious when the hair is in the middle. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Just an idea. It's really easy to fix if you don't like it. I can always just like go like this and my hair is back to normal. But let me know. I kind of wanted to just start doing it in the middle. I think it's something different and I don't know. New year, new hair. I don't know. Anyways, um, to get on to the point okay, of Okay, so the first pair of shoes that I want to talk about are um, these and these are a riding boots and these are if you've watched me for a while you know last year I actually purchased these and they are the Colin Stewart riding boots they are absolutely gorgeous and the thing I love about these really is they are so like I don't know how to say it but sturdy almost I think it's because they are kind of like a, a riding boot style um so they hit like you know they come all the way up they hit like right below the knee and they don't like slouch or anything and uh, they fit kind of loose around uh, your legs so like I mean I have like you know like a little bit of it is like loose around your legs and it's really nice and it makes your legs look nice as well um so yeah they're really great and I actually had a lot of questions on um, where to get these and stuff and I actually looked it up for you guys so I could be helpful so let me just pull that up real quickly. Um, I have prices too. Yay. Okay, so these are originally $99, and these are from the Victoria's Secret website. That's where I get them, but they're um, by Colin Stewart. And right now they are on sale for $79. And um, a lot of people were also asking me about the color of mine, and mine are in the color Brandywine. So it's like this kind of um, deepish, reddish brown color. They're really beautiful. I normally wear these with like a skinnier pant or jean and then I will um, tuck them in and they are really great to tuck jeans into because they have kind of a lot of like space in here I guess and then um, I have an outfit of the day coming up with these soon so I'll be sure um, you can see that too to see how you can wear these but I also would wear these just with black tights and like a dress um, you can do a lot with these and it's a really great like leather boot to have uh, the price is pretty good for leather boots. I know a lot of times leather boots can get really expensive, but these are my favorites, and they always will be, and I would definitely recommend you check them out, or at least get something similar to them, because they are definitely my favorite um, boot for fall. Okay, the next pair are from Forever 21, and I'm going to try so hard to link these in the bottom bar, and they are a chunky heeled um, ankle booty. So adorable. These are like the most comfortable boots ever too. Um, I think it's because the heel is really chunky. Don't be intimidated. I know it's not a big heel, but like for some people it'll be like, should I really like wear a heel to school? Personally, I wear heels or wedges every single day to school um, because I'm most comfortable in that. But I would think, you know, I think a lot of girls 
at least at my school, who I don't see wearing heels and stuff every day, now that it's kind of full time, are wearing like heeled boots. And I think that's kind of a more acceptable way to start wearing heels and stuff if you're kind of worried that people will look at you weird or whatever. Um, but these are so comfortable, and it's because the heel is real chunky and it's not real thin and pointy. Um, but these are actually really, really nice quality, and they were cheap. I think they were probably like $22. Um, I think that's pretty good for boots. And they're from Forever 21 again. I will try my best to link them in the below bar. I did buy them online, so I'm going to go look on there right now and try to link them. Um, but if not, just check out your Forever 21 store. They might have something similar. I know the website and the store kind of never really have the same things, but they might have something similar. And these, for me, were a great buy. Um, just because they are so cute, they're so comfortable, and I think they look a lot more expensive low than they actually were. Um, and the way that I wear those, I don't wear those with jeans because I feel like they kind of make your legs look shorter. Um, so I like to wear those with tights and stuff, and like, they just add kind of a rougher feel to like a really feminine, like, dress or something, and they're really, really cute. So I definitely recommend you go check those out. The last thing, I think every girl needs a classic black, um, kind of closed toe shoe for the fall and winter time and these are um, the ones that I have and you know I make my own money from YouTube and from my store and stuff so I bought these I know they're expensive but they are definitely something that I have been wearing all the time and um, they're just a really nice staple to my wardrobe so I would um, spend a little bit more money on these and um, yeah, so that's kind of my little thing on that. So I don't want anyone to like get offended or anything. But you can definitely find something that's similar to this. And I'm going to actually show you some options that are not as expensive but similar in look. These are the Tory Burch and these are just wedges. And um, a lot of girls at my school wear the Tory Burch flats. But these ones are wedges because, like I said, I really, really hate wearing flat shoes. Um, I would just much rather have a little bit of a heel even if it's like this much. These ones are actually called the Sally wedges. So these are a two and a half inch heel. And then the ones that are, um, I'm trying to find all this information for you. And then there's also a Tory Burch wedge that is called the Sophie. And that one is a three and a half inch. So you can kind of like, I guess, whichever heel you're more comfortable with. These are fine for school for me so that I have the smaller one. Um, but these are really cute. They dress up any outfit. They make it look instantly fancier. They're like a black leather and then they have the gold detailing. I really like gold so that works. They also have these in leopard which if you're a little bit more daring the leopard would be really cute too. Um, but I really like these and I just think any kind of closed toe um, black wedge shoe is really great for fall and winter and are very simple and they go with a lot of things. And recently I was looking on Topshop or ASOS. I don't remember which one it was, but I will add it in the bottom bar, whichever one it is. And they had a um, a closed toe wedge heel like this. And um, I believe they're around $40, I think. So I'll add that in the below bar. And that's definitely a, um, a cheaper alternative to but still kind of following the same style. But, um, okay, so those are my top three shoes for fall and winter. Let me know if you want more of these kind of like my favorites of whatever for um, more fashion stuff. My fashion videos are more of my favorite kind of videos, so I'm definitely going to be getting back into making those. I used to make a lot of them last year, um, so this year hopefully I'm going to start making them again. And um, I think I'm doing a fall and winter um, clothing video if you guys would like that. It's actually like showing you outfits and stuff. But anyways... Hope you guys have a great day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check the below bar for links and info. And um, yeah, thanks for watching.